Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Herman, not a barista. Today, I'm gonna show you how to make a cafe quality espresso. Well, to make an espresso, obviously, you need an espresso machine. There are plenty of choices in the market you could choose from, and the performance of the machine usually matches its price. So pick one that you can afford and that looks good on your counter. Today I'm using the Ansa espresso machine, a machine with a real boiler of 500 millimeter, and it's made of pure white Korean. I gotta say, damn girl. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Good girl going bad. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Take three. A beautiful machine could definitely make the whole experience of making coffee more pleasant. Now, first of all, let's talk about the beans. We all know we normally use blank coffee to make an espresso. All you want to make sure is it's freshly roasted. By freshly, I mean it's roasted between a week or two weeks ago, and we try to finish the whole package within a month. And then just take a look at the roast of the beans. The darker it gets, the lower temperature of water you use for brewing. Usually, the water temperature in a non-commercial machine is relatively lower. The blend I get from my friend is medium roasted, so I normally get the machine heated up a little bit more to get a higher temperature, so as to balance out the acidity of the blend. If the temperature of your machine is always fixed, then forget about what I just said. Choose the roast that suits your machine best. And then it's grinding. Remember, the better grind you have, the better espresso you get, always. If you don't have a good grind, your espresso will suck. It doesn't matter if you had a Lama Soko or what. Here I'm using a Wilfa Uniform Grinder. I like it a lot because it comes with an electric scale and it's got a wide range of grind set that covers nearly all kinds of coffee from espresso to French press. That's exactly what I need. Well, for a double shot put a filter, I usually grind 17 to 19 gram of coffee. The amount changes because when the coffee is less fresh, the ground gets more compact and you end up putting in a little bit more ground to get the put a filter filled. If you say, I really don't want to use a scale, can't afford the fuss, no problem. Just try to fill the putter filter up naturally, and then get rid of the excessive coffee from the rim. Ta-da! It's ready to tamp. Tamping for me personally is really just a ritual because sometimes I don't tamp at all and still I get a really good shot. Remember, it's essentially the amount of coffee in the basket that determines the pressure and thus the quality of the shot. While tamping, it helps to enhance that pressure but if by accident you already feel an excessive amount of coffee, tamping could have a reverse effect and prevent the shot from coming out smoothly. So all in all, perform tamping wisely. Here comes brewing. I want you guys to really stay close and observe the shot because it will tell everything about the quality of your beans, your grinding, and the pressure of the machine. Scenario 1. If there is no shot coming out, well, don't laugh because it happens a lot. The usual courses are Either you grind the coffee too fine, or you fill in too much coffee, or you tamp too hard. Set the grind a little bit coarser, fill in less coffee, or tamp with less force, and see whether the shot gets better. Scenario 2. If you get a shot that's really sloppy, and runs relatively fast, and end up with a crema that's really thin. By the way, crema is the layer on the surface that's supposed to be shiny golden color and thick, and now you get this sad yellowish thin layer. Courses could be, the coffee is not freshly roasted, the grinding is too coarse, there's not enough amount of coffee in the basket, or you didn't tamp hard enough. Change your approaches accordingly until. Scenario 3. You get a shot that's steady and lasts approximately 25 to 30 seconds, with a golden crema that's slowly separating and floating to the top of the layers, well, congratulations, you've managed to get almost everything right. Okay, now time to enjoy. Okay guys, so that is it. Besides espresso, there are tons of other ways to make coffee. If you don't have an espresso machine, no worries. Just stay tuned. I'll post more videos on how to make good coffee with other equipment. And if you enjoy this video or learn something from it, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.